But now it's time to introduce our guests. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I did bring up why the importance of bringing our guests on today. It's about learning about something we can all do from home. Everyone has the power to do this. So without further ado, let's bring on from the born to winph or born to win ph its founder. Please welcome Ferdi Pabalan, chairman and founder. Hey, Ferdy, what's up? Hey, James. Good afternoon. And to uh, your, uh, I know, multiple viewers online. I'm a big fan, I must say. So is my dad. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. You know, everyone's actually quite excited here. Um, people are already chatting. I don't know if you can see the, the comments there, but people are already chatting about it. Mm -hmm. uh, excited to see that we have guests again. And you're the first of the year. So what a milestone. <laughs> a pleasure. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get straight into Fergie. I gave him a little primer. I'm not sure if you heard that, but uh, for the sake of those who just joined us, uh, the reason I told them that I, I wanted to have you on the show as well is you do offer a chance or opportunity for people to learn how to make money from home or wherever they might be and control their own hours, etc. Since the pandemic, this has become the normal or the new normal. And um, but of course, we could do with a few tips and tricks to help navigate through the space. Why Forex? Let's start with that. Okay, well, um, as you mentioned, it's uh, it has become the new normal, you know, James, because uh, during the pandemic, since uh, almost the entire world you know, um, shut down, um, almost everyone was locked down and everything, like everything, um, was transitioned online. So uh, this Forex trading online business uh, did not only help people survive, but also thrive in life. So kagaya ng sinabi mo, no? um, even after the pandemic, it has become the new normal. Because for a lot of people, Forex trading is the number one online business. No? So just um, a quick um, uh, quick info about Forex. Uh, Forex trading is... Uh, a business where you can buy and sell different foreign currencies online. Okay, so wherever you are, as long as you have uh, internet access around the world, no, even using your cell phone. Like right now, actually, <laughs> I'm actually monitoring the market on my cell phone as we speak. So it has become very um, accessible to people. So in that new normal. Na siya. All right. So now, I mean, I'm familiar with it as far as a customer's point of view. I mean, I buy... Mm -hmm. Forex every time I travel, but who are your customers? Are, are you talking to just people like me? Are you talking to businesses? Who's the main customer base of Forex? Actually, uh, different uh, different kinds of people. Eh? My students, because I've been teaching Forex over the past uh, 11 years. I started teaching in 2013 at age 28. Okay. <laughs> so, um, a lot. Eh? Um, I have um, students who are business uh, businessmen and women. I have uh, customers or uh, students who are professionals, OFWs a lot, uh, senior citizens who are retired or people who are looking to you know retire early in life. And um, a lot because um, you don't really need a, a financial background or any experience trading any other markets or any financial markets to learn Forex. No, As long as... Um, you know that um, education will come first. And when you say uh, education, we're not talking about YouTube University, you know, because that's the biggest thing about um, the internet era. Eh? Now, people always tend to think that everything can be studied online, like self-studied online. So uh, Forex trading is not actually one of them. It's an exception. So this is something that um, you have to really prioritize learning first, Muna. And then you start small, okay? Get a good feel of the market. And uh, of course, it's 90% psychology. So uh, emotional uh, mastery plays a big role. And so as risk management. All these uh, things uh, we teach here at Born Twin Philippines. Because uh, here in the Philippines and also for Filipinos uh, around the world, we, we act like a uh, Forex school. So we are like a school for people who are interested to learn Forex and, of course, how to make money from it. All right. So there, you offer the courses. People can sign mm -hmm. up for that and learn. Um, can you give us some freebies <laughs> i'm talking tips and tricks uh, uh just to get people sort of okay something to say maybe if i want to learn more i'll go on the course but give us one or two freebies for now okay um there are a lot of uh currencies or different foreign currencies no now how we make money is when these currencies um go up and also we can make money when these currencies go down in value or we call them exchange rate or price 
No, so the keto forex number one. Before we think about making money, and I always get asked this question, a coach, what what is more important, making money or risk management? Well, ito yung greatest tip na mabibigay ko. It's actually ano kung bago level yan eh, aparehas important because even if you're winning a lot and that's very easy to do, but you're also losing a lot on the other end, then of course it will not make any sense. So the key to it is risk management. Okay, you start small. Okay, doesn't matter how small, but the thing is, as we go for every win, for every uh, loss, of course, your skill it gets developed, diba? And as you progress, obviously, repetition is the mother of mastery, diba? You tend to put in um, more money, and when you're already consistent, you're already confident, you're comfortable, then that's a time that you gradually increase your capital. But again, the key to it is to start small, education first. And then get a good feel of the market and always manage the risk. Awesome. Now, when you say start small, well, what what's small? Um, can you give us a figure? Mm, I have close to three thousand students right now. And when I say students, they're not like uh, bata. No, my students are normally adult between twenty one to seventy years old. And most of them, they start between twenty five to fifty thousand pesos. And I'd say top seguro would be around one hundred and fifty k. But for a $25,000 uh, small trading account, you can actually uh, already get a good feel of the market. Oh, that's in US, $25,000 to... Oh, no, sorry, it's in peso. That's about five hundred in US. Sorry. Oh, that's not so small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they start off with that. And then, I mean, pardon my ignorance here. No? I'm, I'm talking to me like I'm a five-year-old here. You go out, <laughs> you buy the, the, the currency, do you buy digitally? Um, how are you teaching people to trade? Do they hold on to the currency physically? Okay. Well, uh, Forex trading is all about knowing exactly when to get in and, of course, when to get out. So what I do is I teach my students to start with uh, major currencies. When we say major currencies, we're talking about the U.S. dollar, the British pound, the euro, so on and so forth because they are more stable. No, another uh, good commodity to trade is actually, of course, gold. No, it's the favorite of all traders. As long as you understand the risk involved, also plus the volatility of the market, so you start with those currencies because uh, they tend to be safer as they are more stable. No, being major currencies, and um, what I do is uh, I, I teach technical and also fundamental analysis. I make it very easy and simple for people to understand. That's why when you look at the demographics of our graduates, you'd see lolos and lolas, you'd see fresh grads, you'd see housewives. So really, um, for the ordinary Juan de la Cruz, we make it easy and simple. That's why right now, I think uh, we are the only uh, Forex education provider in Asia na zero negative reviews because uh, we have always made it our number one priority to provide the... Um, um, not only the best quality of education in trading the currency markets, but also to make learning it enjoyable, ibig sabihin, to make it very easy and simple to follow. That's how we pride ourselves with. Well, actually, I was going to ask you about that. I was going to ask you your opinion. What? Why do you think that uh, multiple resources on the internet consider you as the number one most trusted forex trading platform, education provider, should I say, in the Philippines? What do you think that is attributed to? Well, because my wife and I, Coach Aliana, my wife is uh, also helping out with coaching people. We're very hands-on. I mean, we have a staff of more than 20 people. But when it comes to teaching our students, no, we're really very hands-on. They actually, each one of them, imagine, there are almost 3,000 now around the world. But all of them, they have a direct access to me and all my like WhatsApp or Messenger. And we have this online community where... They can always um, support or brainstorm or compare notes with their fellow student or fellow graduate traders from born to in Philippines. No? So not only have we established a community, we call it a family. So support system is always there. And um, just uh, a couple of months ago, I started this uh, exclusive Facebook page where I post um, my personal trades so people can like uh, make it a reference and actually copy them just to show them the support that uh, we are really very happy to provide. So I think that's the no, that's the number one secret or key to our success as a business in Born Twin Philippines. The support system is 101% solid talaga, and they all feel that. You don't do you dabble in crypto at all or is there any similarities in what you do with crypto? 
Um, what we do we started doing recently is uh, we are trading Bitcoin against the dollar. And uh, right now it's crazy because it has gone up to more than 51,000, 52,000 already, no? So what we're doing is uh, we analyze the market so we can anticipate whether or not the Bitcoin will continue to go up or will regress, no? So uh, that's also something that we started doing uh, just this year. Um, not all the cryptocurrencies, but mainly the most stable one that is the pioneer, of course, of all cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, because you can actually trade Bitcoin against the dollar. That's how it's measured uh, when traded against the U.S. dollar. So that's the only uh, cryptocurrency that I personally trust right now. Well, it's it's your you're starting with your own advice, which is to start with mm -hmm. the major currencies. So with you talking about your students about the dollar, the pound, the euro. Now with your you're starting with crypto. That is the main currency. In fact. Many will argue that's the only currency and the rest are just... And I will agree. <laughs> so I, I, I'm glad you're not you know, delving too deep into that because you're right. Mm -hmm. You can get so burnt with some of the altcoins. There are some good ones or not, but hit and miss. But BTC is the only one of its kind. There's nothing Correct. else. Like it. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess the question is, is there... Because I know we have a lot of crypto people on the channel because we've been talking about crypto since uh, 2021 when I got into it. And a mm -hmm. lot of people follow the journey. A lot of people have gotten burned. A lot of people have gotten happy. I mean, you know, we got all sorts of people here. So those people um, that are here that, that relate to crypto, are there similar um, things that apply to both Forex and, and let's say the learnings? If they want, if they're heavily into a crypto journey and they go to your Forex course, are there similar principles that they can use to adopt? Yes, because uh, at the end of the day, whether it's trading uh, shares or currencies or cryptocurrencies, number one most important thing is always risk management. Okay, so you don't really expose your entire capital on any one or a couple of trades. No, the key to it is understanding the right proportion. And uh, with our trading plan, we only uh, teach our graduates to risk or to expose no more than 2%, okay, 2% of their account balance or capital per trade. Plus, of course, the number of trades per day should also be limited. You don't keep your open trades or open positions like multiple of them with only with not so much capital because it can really burn you but with all the research that we've done over the past um 2016 so eight years now no um more than 90 percent of the people who loses in this game um is the main problem is lack of education that's why um during my last guesting and uh, i was really hoping that the government will listen um, I think uh, number one most important thing right now, or one of the most important is to provide financial or different financial literacy programs for ordinary Filipinos because they tend to be curious. People are always curious, especially as Filipinos. You know, When we get curious, what we do is we research and then we self-study. And then before you know it, we start putting in some money without really understanding the risk. Now, now that's the number one reason why people get burned in this uh, kind of business. So uh, again, I would like to stress Number one most important thing is to get yourself educated so you don't need, so you understand not only how to make money but also the risk management side of things. That's very important risk management. It's 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 strange now when you think about it that money is at the center of everything we do yet it's somewhat a taboo subject meaning we don't we don't get taught how to handle money because we don't get taught the financial um, education that we deserve in schooling. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if we're in some way deliberately kept out of it so that maybe only a certain circle can really profit from it. So I am, I'm, what I'm getting from you is that you're, you're providing to the mainstream this financial education that should really be basic education for, for Filipinos in school. But sadly, we're not. That's not part of our curriculum. Correct. Correct. Because in other countries, no. Uh, like, you know, first world countries, uh, U.S. countries in Europe and some of our, uh, you know, neighboring countries in Asia, actually, they have this um, course or at least an option, not just in college, but with, as early as high school education. You no, know, they uh, teach people or at least they introduce the market to to the youth you no, know, on how to trade different uh, financial instruments or asset classes here in the philippines even if you try and inquire they went to the biggest and the most expensive universities tama yung sinabi mo sir james yeah. uh, they still haven't started no really introducing it to uh students so the tendency is for students our youth to have this 
employee mentality, which is wala namang masama. But if we want to really catch up with, uh, you know, neighbor, even neighboring Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia or Indonesia, um, I would say, okay, based on my research, we have to start with uh, financial literacy programs. And here in the Philippines, we are very similar to a forex school. No, so yung mga Filipinos, not only here, but Filipinos overseas, they come to us, especially when they're interested to seriously learn Forex and how to make money and also manage the risk in the market. That's so like uh, we pride ourselves with, uh, you know, serving like a school or a uh, trading school for people. Yeah, I, I've always found that quite bizarre because even the basics are, I find, not necessarily accurate in, in life, for example. I mean, it's it save, save, save. We were always taught to save, save, save. Now, in principle, it sounds like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> That's great advice. You know, you, you save part of your money. I wish somebody had told me to invest, 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 and not just save, 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 and then right. end up being behind inflation. Because if I shove that even in a bank under a mattress, it doesn't matter, piggy bank. And when I open <laughs> up piggy bank and I'm looking at what, three to four to five percent a year of inflation, right. that money ain't worth it the same amount anymore. But yet that's how they teach us. They teach us how to work hard, not how to work smart. They teach us how to follow rules and stuff like that, not the, rather than create our own path. And yet, again, like I said, this is at the center of everything that we do in, as humans. And um, even when we go for jobs, I find it very, there's people, they, they're too scared to talk packages. It, it, it's always an uncomfortable moment when you ask, so what kind of package are you expecting? Oh, they freeze up. It's like, why? <laughs> So, but have you noticed this? Is this just me, or you've noticed that we, we we don't tend to be as open about money as a lot of other countries do? We keep Correct. A lot of- I think it's more of uh, realizing our value. Eh? Yesterday, uh, my wife and I we, we we were in a meeting with an Australian, and actually that was one of our topics uh, because Australians tend to be very straightforward. Yeah. And he was like, because we understand what our value is, not only as a business, but as an individual. So when we were driving home, I told my wife, Sabi, you know what, love, actually, that's something that we can share and we can also teach our students. Eh? Now, when you know your value, so wherever you go, kahit na it's a simple job interview in the Philippines or you go overseas or you negotiate with you know international uh, business people, stating what you want is really very important. No? Because ganun nga, di ba? how much do you expect? So what you're really being asked is, how much do you think is your value or will be your future value to this company or business? No, So we should always be confident. And I think what will help us become confident is babalik ulit tayo doon. You know, by yung financial literacy and really it's all about education. Eh? Because when you're always, uh, when you know that you're educated, then you'd realize your real value or could be a big value to any business or company. That's, that's, that's a very good point. I'm glad we touched on it because it, it, it's so true. And I think culturally, um, we tend to also be, yeah, a little bit nahigia with certain things. But then now that we're in a digital uh, space, uh, especially Forex, a digital space, now you don't need to feel, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore what you look like, how tall you are, how short you are, whatever, you have pimples in your face, it doesn't matter. You can now, as you said, just work with the value that you're providing. Never mind whatever optics that used to be a problem in the old system where you have to face to face with people and then you have to work with their biases and prejudices, etc. Now we're all digital, almost all of us. So be confident in your own uh, ability and what value you bring. And then therefore you shouldn't have any problem asking for what your worth is. And that's one of the things you teach. So, okay. Yes. I'll, someone asked her a little earlier. Um, they were, I see if I can find the comment. They were talking about the money that is, um, where was it? I wanted to ask it the way he asked it, but I think the bottom line was asking how much would it cost for the course? Um, is let's say start out with 25,000. How much would the course cost? Okay, because the 25,000 is normally uh, between 25 to 50,000 pesos is the starting capital. Now, with regards to our course, as much as I'd love to pitch our course, I would suggest that you first attend our three hour free trading webinar for beginners we actually want uh we actually have one running at 7 p.m uh tonight no because um we don't just uh we filter our students eh? we don't just accept when if if let's say they have the money to enroll we accept them right away no because we're all after our uh, our image or credibility say what if they don't succeed then it would 
di ba? It would not mean uh, well for the business. So I suggest everyone, if you're interested, find out and learn about the basics muna. And uh, when you attend my webinar, you will notice a difference that I, I, I do not sugarcoat my lecture. Ibig sabihin, I'll tell you good things and also the not so good things about trading. So um, you can always visit our Facebook page. Just search for Born Twin PH or Born Twin Philippines on Facebook and you send us a message or a PM, then um, there's an automated uh, system that will give you the links to our upcoming free three-hour Forex or trading webinars for beginners. That's, That's free. Cool. Well, what yeah. are we looking at here? What, what What's this QR code for? Um, I think it's for, I think it's, uh, it, it was, um, it was placed there by my social media team for people to scan na lang ata so they can uh, get directed to our Facebook page. Uh, that's another way to get into your Facebook page or, or find out more about the free webinars. But that, yep. that's, a great, that's a great answer. I, I did find the question for whatever it's worth, how it was phrased. Uh, Erickson Tan asked the question, 25K ang minimum investment, um, magkano naman ang training in ilang session? So we've uh, answered that already. Um, best advice now is to be able to go on to the free webinar. Um, how long is this? For three hours, right? Three hours, yes. And we do yeah. it uh, three times a week. Uh, normally Wednesdays and uh, Fridays, 7 until 10 p.m. And uh, weekends, um, normally 1 p.m. till 4 p.m. This is great. Okay. And then by, by this stage, you'll be able to find out whether this is for you or not. I mean, exactly. three hours is enough time to say, okay, mm -hmm. I or Indikai, I'll try it out or I won't try it out. But it costs you nothing to find out. Um, I appreciate you. that. That's great because we always like to give value to, to our um, listeners here and our viewers because this was basically how the show was started. It was a really, and this is another reason why I was happy to have you on board and created a special day for it because this is the spirit of Tito Clock. It was always sharing opportunities. Um, this was how it was born. And um, we had multiple people like yourself who help people pivot, who help people get into this new normal and uh, try to find out new skills, etc. So we're always hungry for new information. Um, if, if just in case somebody uh, doesn't have enough time right now to go for the three hours and they just want little snippets, what are some of the risks associated with the trading uh, Forex and, and how do you manage it? Okay. Well, um, exposure plays a very, uh, I mean, the uh, understanding how to manage your risk means uh, knowing the exact proportion diba, on how much of your capital you should be exposing. So again, uh, just a uh, very quick uh, overview. Uh, you should never be risking uh, no more than 2% of your capital on any given trade. Okay, so that's, ibig sabihin, if in case um, the market uh, went against you, ibig sabihin, kabalik taran yung analysis mo. Let's say you were um, anticipating a currency to go up, but then, let's say it went down, no? And that can happen anytime. At least your maximum uh, losses would only be 2%. Of your capital so risk management talaga plays a very uh, important part because uh, for most people who are not really um educated enough no in the forex market what they tend to do is they expose their entire portfolio or their entire capital on a couple of trades and if the market goes against you of course it can wipe you out so yung tamang proportion we actually dedicate at least a couple of sessions uh, with our students no, to really understand that. Now, if your capital is just small, okay, your position size should also be small lang. But if you if, if you have a bigger capital, then that's the only time that you consider to really um, expose with a bigger trade or a bigger position. So there's always a uh, right proportioning. Great. We call it risk management. Just to be very clear about it, um, this is this type of thing because there there's a forex business that a lot of people are familiar with which is the old fashioned way where you you physically carry the cash and then people who travel by the forex etc what you're doing is, is is not quite like that right you're you're literally trading like you would be trading stocks you're not interacting personally with these people you're just buying selling on an exchange that's correct yes correct and um it's an online exchange so uh, people can do it on their computers or if it's easier and i'm sure it will it is as uh, over uh using their cell phones and uh what you're what you're doing is actually not speculating but we call it forecasting no smart forecasting or anticipating um when the uh, prices of these different foreign currencies will go up and down okay, and also sorry 
I just would like to add, um, when you start trading, uh, for beginners out there who are interested, okay, for, when you start trading, start to focus only with a maximum of three different currencies or currency pairs. You don't trade all of them. Because normally, if you're a beginner, you would be given almost 100 different currency pairs, majors and minors to choose from. So, of course, it will drive you crazy. But if you focus on, let's start with one, and then eventually two, and then maybe maximum. I trade only maximum of three currencies, uh, currency pairs right now, no? or uh, trading pairs. No? That way, you can get yourself very much familiarized. Diba? Kung anong months or seasons sila tumataas, bumabagsak, or whatnot. And you don't uh, complicate yourself because I always tell my students that a confused mind doesn't win. All right. Well, that sounds um, pretty great. I guess the final question is, I think I already know the answer to all of this, but I want to hear it from you. So with everything you just said, do you need any kind of qualifications for people to start here, educational attainments or anything like that? Or is it just an open mind um, and uh, some risk management? Well, um, honestly, as long as uh, they are willing to learn and they are committed to start and never quit, then we'd also never quit on them. It's, and this is not a showbiz answer. All my students know this, and I'm sure a lot of them are watching right now. In Tagalog, I always tell them that as long as you're willing to learn, doesn't matter kung quick learner ka, slow or average, as long as hindi mo susukuan to, and I guess over the past 11 years, we have proven that to be very true. Well, 11 years is a long time <laughs> on the internet, <laughs> everywhere else. So congratulations for staying around for that long. Congratulations also on being uh, the number one trusted uh, education provider for this. I mean, it's widely credited by your own users. As you said, no negative comments in there, which is I, incredible for the internet. I don't know how that's possible. The internet will find something wrong with anything. Right, a flower. Actually, the biggest that we have in Bordeaux in Philippines, the reviews from our clients. <laughs> super, yon, super, yon, super. There you go. Um, so thank you for coming on board and giving people an opportunity. I really appreciate the uh, link um, that you shared. Maybe we can flash that QR code up one more time just so people have access to that webinar that's happening later on at 7 p.m. tonight. If you miss that, there's also other webinars, as you said, um, twice a week that's being run. That's a great way to get started. It will cost you nothing. And if you like it, then you can start going in with your own appetite for investment and learning as well. So really do appreciate uh, you coming on board, Ferdy. Uh, you've been great. You've got a lot of fans here. A lot of people, you, you're right. <laughs> I think you're already tuned in. And hopefully you get more new students with this. And hopefully one of those students is me because I'm always okay. looking. Always, always, because um, we, I've always been a big fan and I super appreciate that actually even my wife, my mom, my girls, uh, they're super kilig that uh, I'm actually I'm in your show because they always see me watching you on YouTube and, you know, during uh, because I'm a very big uh, car enthusiast. So they are very familiar. When I told them earlier this morning that I'll be in your show, they'd be like, OK, we should be home early and we should all be watching. And they're all there watching right now. Can I give them a big shout out, James? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. right? Please do. OK, um, I would like to shout out, of course, my beautiful wife, uh, Coach Aliana, my mom, my dad, my sister, um, Jeric, and all the girls. We have six kids. Uh, I would like wow. to say hi. And um, we're here. Um, uh, Francesca, Kaylee, Francine, Faith, Aliyah, Win-Win, and of course, 3,000 strong born twin Philippines family. OK, hi. <laughs> So James, so what, what do you have a sideline? You have a side. You have six kids, man. I yeah. have sidelines too. If I had six, I have plenty. I have six sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> no no right. It makes a lot of sense. Hi guys, thanks for thanks for being uh, for tuning in and supporting your dad and of course your husband when uh, for coaching. Um, really appreciate you coming on board, and uh, we look forward to the next. All of these gray hairs came from crypto, see? So maybe maybe. It's time for <laughs> <laughs> Hey, put those up right now. So, you know, it's a good time too for, for everybody. Um, let's let's join in and uh, see if we can make some money. Thanks very okay. much, Ferdy. Thanks for having me, Jay. Appreciate okay. it. That was for the coach, Ferdy Pabalan. And I hope you learned quite a bit from him because I did. There was quite a lot there to pick up from. And uh, the best part of it all is a risk-free three-hour free webinar to learn the basics to see if you want to move forward.